In this video, I'm gonna be showing you top five paint tricks that never gets old and always fools people. So let's get started. Starting off with the most simple trick, the pin vanish. It's completely gone and in order to bring it back, you just have to wave your hand just like that and the pin is back right in front of the spectator's eyes. So let's see how you can do it. Whenever I make a paint trick compilation video, I always include this trick as the base technique because here the technique that is used is also used for most of the paint tricks that are done. So basically you can already understand that this is called the flip stick move and over here you have to hold the pen on the heavy side and at the tip like just like that the index finger will be over here, the middle finger on the bottom and the thumb over here. And at this point all you have to do is pull the middle finger inside and as you do that you also pull the pen inside and the index finger stretches out and that actually hides the pen from the perfect angle. So if you do it very fast it will look like that the pen has vanished in the blink of an eye. Now at this point in order to bring the pen back all you have to do is basically wave the other hand and as you do that all you're doing is over here you're putting your thumb and then you are pulling the index finger backwards and stretching the thumb outwards. So when you do that the pin actually comes back to the beginning point and that happens under the cover of the motion of the other hand. So that's how you're going to do the first trick. Now moving on to the second one, it looks somewhat like this. You have a coin over here and you have a pin. Now watch, one, two, three. The coin has vanished just like that. Now in order to bring the coin back, all you have to do is just shake the cap and the coin falls from inside of it. So that is the second trick that always fools anyone. This trick is another easy trick and here is how you're gonna do it. You have to keep a coin on one of your hands and you have to hold the pin with the other hand and the cap side will be inside your hand. So basically that's going to be the starting point and then what you're doing is basically you're going to turn like this with the pain side towards the spectator because that is the best angle and then what you're going to do is you're going to tap on the coin three times so the first two times you actually tap on it and you also move both of your hands like that on the third time all you do is basically throw the coin up and you go down fast so in that movement you actually catch the coin inside the other hand so i'll just try to give you a slow motion view but this is not going to look good because this camera is not a slow motion camera so anyways this is what it looks like I'll try to do it in the slow motion. So I don't know if that was perfect or not, but basically that's it. That's what happens. And that happens in this angle and in a fast motion. So it looks like that the coin has vanished and the coin is actually basically in this hand. Now all you do is basically from this hand, you hold the pain like that and keeping the coin in the palmed position, you open up the cap and then while you shake the cap, all you do is basically open these fingers and the coin drops onto this hand. So basically like that, you are going to do this trick. The next one is the pin and the ring trick. So I'm gonna take the pin and I'm gonna keep it over here. Then I'm gonna take this ring and I'm just going to take it in this hand. Then I'm gonna take this pin and all I'm gonna do is basically move this pin just like a magic wand over this hand. And all that does is it actually makes this ring disappear so that makes the ring disappear but the ring actually comes to this position so that is the pin and the ring trick and here is how you're going to do it now in order to do this trick all you need is a pin and a ring now both of these things could be borrowed so it really doesn't matter now after you take that take the pin and hold it by the side of your body with the help of your arm and that is very important and then after that all you're going to do is basically a retention technique with the ring in your other hand so basically you can do the French drop or you can do the thumb palming which I did in the performance you can do it so the spectators will think that the ring is over here now as the spectators think that the ring is over here you can actually do a misdirection and just tap on this hand so they are going to look over here and you can actually adjust the ring over here in this hand which is still over here and then all you're doing is basically when you're going to bring the pin that is why I said that keep the pin by the side of your body. When you're going to bring this pin, you're actually putting the ring onto the pin just like that. And then you're holding the pin and bringing it out. And then the rest of the thing as performance. Just do it as the performance. So that is how you are going to do this pin and ring trick. Moving on to the next one, you can see I have this pin with a cap just like that and all I'm going to do is basically I'm going to take this pin and I'm actually going to open up the cap just like that and then I'm going to wave this pin above that hand 
and the cap is actually going to disappear magically from that hand and land on the back of the pen. So that is the trick and here is how you're going to do it. This is actually the most simple trick. All you need to do is you need to have a pen with a cap and then what you're going to do is basically you're going to put the cap very lightly over here and then you're going to turn this pen just like that and put the pen in this hand and you're going to hold the cap with the pinky just like that. Now while you're moving this pen from this hand to this hand you're doing it in this way and while you're doing it you're actually pulling the cap back with this hand so the cap stays with this hand it's kind of like a retention technique so that happens when the other hand comes it goes to take the pen and it takes the pen not the cap so the nip is over here and the pen is in this hand just like that and when i'm holding the pen with the other hand i'm actually putting the cap onto the back of the pen and i'm holding it so i'm just pretending to open the cap and then i'm going to wave this of a pen and the cap is not actually present over here so you can do it do a magical reveal and then you can just show the back of the pen and say that the cap has magically traveled to the back of the pen and this time while you open it try to make it look like that the cap was very much hardly attached to the back of it so that the spectators believe that the cap has magically went over there and you did not put it right over there so that is the fourth one this is the most oldest trick and it actually works when you perform this in real life right in front of the spectator's eyes. So I don't really know how it will look on camera, but I'll try my best. So I have this deck of cards and I'm gonna to try to vanish it with the help of this pen. Now watch. One, two, three. <laughs> I actually hit the pen behind my ears as you can see, but watch. If I strike the pen on the deck of cards, it actually vanishes and you can see right now, my hands are empty. I don't have the deck of cards with me anymore. So that's one of the most lamest tricks on camera. But trust me, when you're going to perform this in front of the spectator, you're going to get amazing reactions. The concept behind this trick is very easy. All you have to do is you have to have a pen and any other object. You can also use any small ob object except for the deck of cards. So you're going to hold that object and then you're going to strike the pen three times. So the first time you strike, the second time you strike, and on the third time you take the pen and keep it behind your ears and bring down the empty hand. So at this point, the spectators are going to say that, okay, where's the pen? And then you're going to just turn your head and show them that I was joking, I was kidding, the pen is still in my ears. And while you actually show that the pen is still in your ears, I'm not showing it as of now, but I showed you in the performance. While you're doing it, you're actually getting rid of the deck of cards because others' attention is on the ears and on this pen. So you're getting rid of that and they're going to see the pen that is behind your ears and as soon as you bring the pen out from your ears, after you put the deck back inside your back pocket or ditch it somewhere, all you're doing is basically you're bringing the pen and you're immediately bringing out the empty hand and striking it over here and say, look, I just vanished that deck of cards. And the spectators, they will not be able to see the object or the deck of cards that you vanished and they won't be able to find it anywhere near you. So that is one of the most lamest tricks, but it actually works. And you might think like, this is not going to work, but this actually works 100% of times. So try it and then comment over here that if it worked for you or not, because it should work for you. And that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, also do consider subscribing because that is going to help me make a lot more videos on this channel. And thanks for watching. Peace.